You know, it was over two years ago that I forsook my longtime friend and ally, the three and a half millimeter jack, and switched full time to Apple's AirPods Pros. And it was recently, I was playing a game with someone and I needed a combination headphone and mic, and for some reason, Bluetooth wasn't working properly. Could, anyone, anyone, Bluetooth not working properly? Yeah. And I had to pull out my old trusty Sennheiser IE80s. And after so long, I couldn't believe how great they sounded. And if my expectations are anything to go on, that is gonna be nothing compared to this. These are the Sennheiser IE600s, perhaps one of the last of a dying breed, a truly high-end in-ear headphone designed for mobile use. And there's a lot of special stuff going on, starting with the housing. They're made of this amloy zirconium 3D printed metal material that is apparently so exotic that one of the primary uses for it is aerospace applications. And Sennheiser says that one of the things that got them so excited about this material is the fact that it would allow them to achieve unusual geometries because there's no inherent advantage to constructing your earphone out of metal, let's say. But 3D printing it, according to them, they have some of the most tuned, matched drivers inside it, and that combined with this unique shape is what gives these their outstanding sound. You can see they're ported on the back. Uh, that looks like, what is it, six millimeter? Hold on, I'm just guessing right now. Seven millimeter, sorry, seven millimeter drivers. There's no obvious way to disassemble them. I'm surprised at both how heavy they are and at how light they are if that makes sense. Like compared to a plastic housing, obviously they're a lot heavier, but compared to what I maybe expected for a metal housing, they're really manageable. I haven't put them in my ears yet though, so we'll have to see how that goes. Another thing I haven't tested yet is the comfort. One of the reasons I stuck with the IE80s for so long is that they're some of the most comfortable headphones for me that I have ever encountered and I have really high expectations for these. We've got a nice little travel case here. Uh, oh, wow, that's, a, <laughs> that's an upgrade over the old Steel Series Flux with the broken zipper case that I've been using for mine. I'm actually gonna pull out some of my favorite accessories that I keep in here. This is a connector I'm not familiar with. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a balanced input of some sort, but it's not one that I own any equipment that specifically works with. So I will tuck that away. <laughs> I can tell you right now, I'm annoyed with Sennheiser out of the gate here that there's no microphone included with the default cable. That was an add-on that I had to spend a whack of money on for this one. And that also makes the fit not as good. These are my i80s with the optional mic cable. And you can see it doesn't come up high enough to hold them in place anymore. So they like come off more easily. They include both foam type and silicone type ear tips. Uh, these were made famous by Comply way back in the day. And like many premium earphones, they include MMCX connectors. So this allows you to swap out your cables well, between the balanced one and then the normal uh, three pole, three and a half mil. Or if you wanna get third party cables in the future, either because you wanna save a buck or because you like throwing away money, then you could do that as well. Now, hmm, I'm not a huge fan of the, the stiff plastic like ear pieces but that's kind of a your mileage may vary thing. Looks like they retain their shape reasonably well though. They're not super hard or anything like that. I'm gonna try the small foam type ones. Oh, we got the banana for scale. You wanna see how big they are? Here's a banana. All right, you can buy a banana on lttstore.com. What you should really be doing is signing up for a notification for when the backpack and the screwdriver come in stock. Otherwise, how will you know? Other than that, I'm gonna tell you constantly. Oh, they definitely don't feel heavy. Actually, they feel like, like slim, almost. I guess part of it is that I'm so used to daily driving AirPods, right? Which are sticking out of your ear, hanging down, right? Like some kind of goofus. I mean, I guess <laughs> having this cinched up nice and tight is a bit of a goofus look too, isn't it? <laughs> how do I look, boys? Beautiful. <laughs> some uh, eggs. Let's play egg toss. Okay. Please tell me they're boiled. I cannot confirm or deny that. Your only rule is you have to stay at the desk. I have to stay at the desk. And underhand, please. 
On, how am I supposed to toss underhand from the desk? That's not D brand's problem. These are clearly not hard boiled. Okay. Just a couple more. Let's play throw and catch. All right, clearly too easy for you. So we got level two. This is really stupid. All right, toss it straight to my voice, that sweet, sultry voice. Uh, you actually did it, okay. All right, I'm throwing it. Oh, oh, okay. That was a bad throw. Oh my God, you got it on the headphones. Yeah! yeah see? Woo! All right, that was a great job, Linus. I got a, a letter from you from D-Brand. Oh no, you're, you're good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna <laughs> keep throwing things at me. So D-Brand wanted us to throw this egg around to waste your time. Why waste your time? Because there's a discount for all D-Brand products happening right now, but it ends 15 minutes from when this video was published. If you're watching this, you probably missed it. If not, use code 5 foot one ah, right there, buddy, for 15% off at dbrand.com slash shortlinus. Thanks, D-Brand. Get bent. Hey, wait a minute, they're gonna kill our retention stats on this video. D-Brand, what the heck? They need to pay extra for that. Yes, sir. Now, I know immediately I am going to take criticism for hooking these up to such an unworthy source as a Razer dongle attached to a mere Samsung Android phone. But I stand by that even with 600 US dollar earphones, most people are not gonna be plugging them into a a proper source, and I want to hear them as most people will. Every time, every time I have to talk about music, I feel like my taste in music is going to be judged. So I'm just, I'm not going to tell you what I'm listening to. I don't even care. Oh, before I turn them on, actually, let's talk noise isolation. Man, now that I'm used to active noise cancellation, like, I don't know, would you, say something to me. Hello, Linus. Yeah, I can actually, I can hear you pretty well. Yeah, if anything, I'd say my IE80s are a little more isolating than these 600s. I have a really exciting announcement. We actually have one of our first full-time labs hires on now, and he's an audio guy. He's working on getting us one of those like dummy heads with the, the microphone set up for your frequency response curves and all that awesome stuff. And we're actually gonna be doing a video on LTT taking, I think it's either two or three dummy heads benchmarking which one is the most true to life. So stay tuned for that. This could be one of the last videos we ever do that's just me listening to it and telling you guys how it sounds to me. I'm expecting an app or something, but you just plug it in and they work. That's like next, that's next level. I don't know how to describe the sound other than clean. Nothing is overdone. Bass heads are gonna wanna EQ it up. But that's a good sign. If you have a nice, accurate headphone, you can play around with the EQ. And it'll still be accurate, just EQ'd. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hooked on the Encanto soundtrack, listening to Surface Pressure right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what I'm listening to, I don't even care. I think I take back what I said. This, feels like a proper audiophile product. This is not the kind of thing people are gonna plug into their iPhones. Plain and simple. This is the kind of thing that people are gonna be plugging into a proper audiophile grade uh, MP3 or more likely FLAC player and be tuning their EQs to their tastes and even to different genres of music. These things sound amazing. I totally underestimated what I was dealing with here. You know what I really need to listen to? is like something something older that actually has some dynamic range, something pre-loudness wars. Like, I have so little of that kind of stuff. It manages to be dead accurate on the hi-hat hits without being harsh at all. Well, there's a bunch of other stuff that's cool about them. There's the steel shot blasting that gives them this really unique finish. I think it looks amazing. Uh, the material is from Amloy Technologies. It's super durable, and it's supposed to leave practically no evidence of daily use, meaning these things should last as long as, you know, the magnets inside them work. But none of that is really the point. The point is, these sound unlike anything else I've ever heard. You know what? You know what? Yes, 
I do have a point of reference for them. The Edemotic ER2s, I believe they were, that I had, man, I had a pair of those way back in the day. Yeah, Edemotic ER4s, but better. You better subscribe. Oh, gotta go, bye.